Now you can leave your face right at the step of contouring uh, because you of course look beautiful and healthy at this point just by using that one extra product. But if you really want to in introduce a healthy looking pop of color, then blush is absolutely the way to go. I never not wear blush. So I like to wear two blush colors at one time. I just feel for me that it gives a really nice graduation of color on the cheeks. I feel it looks a little bit more natural than just one color. But of course, you can just put a little bit on the apples of your cheeks. You could put a dust over your whole cheekbone or you can try two colors like I'm going to show you today. So the first color I'm going to pop on is our beautiful winter blush. This product is a color that everybody can wear. It is just gorgeous. I'm selecting one of our larger brushes because I don't want this particular product to be as intense with its coloring and our pigments are very intense. So I'm using a bigger brush. Bigger brushes give you less intensity. Smaller brush heads are going to give you more color and more pigment. So I'm just starting at the tops of the apples of my cheeks working this beautiful winter color over and onto the temple area but I'm not placing my blush too low I'm keeping it really in line with the center of my nose again if you've got a narrow face like me that is why I keep it to this area if you've got a fuller face then of course you could bring your blush down to maybe more of the edge or the end of your nose. Again, for those of you with a narrower face, keep it to sort of the cheekbone up. And then for those of you with a wider face, you could just pop that blush just a little bit lower. Now, if you absolutely love the blush colors that you've picked and you have no idea what eyeshadow colors to use, use them as your eyeshadow colors because if your blush suits you, then it's going to look absolutely beautiful as an eyeshadow color. It's no fuss and it's something that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Whatever's on my cheeks is usually on my eyes. Now, with what's left on the brush, a little bit of the winter blush residue, I'm going to sweep that over my eye. And the reason I like to do that is it lifts the concealer so it's not so two-toned and it gets rid of any seam of line, I suppose, or making it look like it's concealer and then blush. I love all of the products to link like a spider web. They all connect really beautifully without making it obvious which and what product starts where. So that's the blush loose. And now I'm going to pop a little bit of our autumn cream on the apples of my cheeks for a pop of color. Now. My other favorite colors to do this with is the Coral Radiance. That is beautiful. And of course, the Summer. The other color that I like to use as my base blush is the Spring Cream. Love it because it also acts as a bit of coverage, like a foundation. So it's really, really um, an easy product to use. Okay, so there we have the two blush colors.